Welcome to the spoken tutorial on grep command. In this tutorial, we will learn grep command. We will do this with the help of some examples. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 12.04 operating system and GNU Bash version 4.2.24. Please note, GNU Bash version 4 or above is recommended to practice this tutorial. As prerequisites, you should know basics of Linux terminal. For relevant tutorials, please visit our website, which is as shown. First, let us know about regular expressions. Regular expressions are pattern matching techniques. When we have to find out whether a pattern exists in a line, paragraph or a file, for example, if you want to search a phone number in the telephone directory or to find a keyword in a paragraph or a line, we use grep command. Let us move on to grep. Grep searches for one or more patterns in one or more line, paragraph or a file. If file name is not mentioned, grep search for the patterns in the standard input. If file name is missing, grep searches for the patterns in the standard input. I will demonstrate usage of grep using a demo file called grepdemo.txt. Let us see the content of the file. This is a file that has 13 entries. Each entry has 6 fields, roll number, name, stream, marks and stipend amount. The fields are separated by a bar which is called a delimiter. Let us see how grep works. Say we want to use grep command to see who are the students in the computer stream. For this, we have to open the terminal. So press Ctrl, Alt and T keys simultaneously on your keyboard. Now type on the terminal grep space within double quotes computers after the double quotes space grepdemo.txt Press enter. This would enlist those entries where stream is computers. Now compare the result with the original file. Come back to our text editor. We see that the entry for Zubin is not enlisted. Why this is so? This is because grep searched for the pattern computers with small c. While for Zubin the stream is computers with a capital C. The pattern matching is case sensitive. To make it case insensitive, we need to use the minus i option with grep. Come back to our terminal. Now type grep space minus i space within double quotes computers after the double quotes space grepdemo.txt. Press enter. This will now enlist all the four entries. So we saw grep enlist only those lines of files that match a given pattern. We may do the reverse. It is possible to make grep enlist only those lines that do not match the pattern. For that we have the minus V option. Say we want to enlist those entries of students who have not passed. We can also store this result in another file. For this, type grep space minus i v space within double quotes pass after the double quotes space grepdemo.txt space greater than sign space not pass dot txt. Press enter. To see the content of file, type cat space not pass dot txt. Press enter. The output is displayed. Now add the prompt type grep space minus i space within double quotes fail after the double quotes space grepdemo.txt and press enter. This is different. This will include those students who are failed but their result is incomplete. If we want to see the line number in the file at which the enlisted entries are, we have the minus n option. Let us clear the prompt. Now type grep space 
minus i n space within double quotes fail after the double quotes space grab demo dot txt press enter the line number is displayed the patterns so far have been of single word we may have multi word patterns as well but the entire pattern must be within quotes so type grep space minus i space within double quotes ankit space saraf after the double quotes space grep demo dot txt press enter we see that ankit saraf record is displayed we can also find patterns in multiple files for this type grep space minus i space within double quotes fail after the double quotes space grep demo dot txt space not pass dot txt press enter the output is displayed with multiple files grep will write the name of the file in which entry was found grep demo dot txt not pass dot txt these are the records from not pass dot txt file and these are the records from grep demo dot txt file suppose we may only want to know the number of matches or count for that we have the minus c option so type grep space minus c space within double quotes fail with a capital f after the quotes space grep demo dot txt press enter this will give us the count of numbers of lines matched this brings us to the end of this tutorial let us summarize in this tutorial we learned to see the content of a file example cat file name to list the entries of a particular stream example grep computers grep demo dot txt to ignore cases example grep minus i computers grep demo dot txt lines that do not match the pattern example grep minus i v pass grep demo dot txt to list the line numbers with the entries example grep minus i n fail grep demo dot txt to store the result in another file example grep minus i v pass grep demo dot txt greater than sign not pass dot txt and to know the count example grep minus c fail grep demo dot txt as an assignment explore some other commands like minus e plus and question mark watch the video available at the link shown below it summarizes the spoken tutorial project if you do not have good bandwidth you can download and watch it the spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials gives certificates to those who pass an online test for more details please write to contact at the rate spoken-tutorial.org spoken tutorial project is a part of the talk to a teacher project it is supported by the national mission on education through ict mhrd government of india more information on this mission is available at the link shown below this is ashwini patel from iit bombay signing off thank you for joining